The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus went to the other side of the Sea of Galilee, also called the Sea of Tiberias. A large crowd kept following him because they saw the signs that he was doing for the sick. Jesus went up the mountain and sat there with his disciples. Now the Passover, the festival of the Jews, was near, and when he looked up and saw a large crowd coming toward him, Jesus said to Philip, Where are we to buy bread for these people to eat? He said this to test him, for he himself knew what he was going to do. And Peter answered him, Six months' wages would not buy enough bread for each of them to get a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, Simon's Peter brother, said to him, there is a boy here who has five barley loaves and two fish. But what are they among so many people? And Jesus said, Make the people sit down. Now there was a great deal of grass in the place, so they sat down about 5,000 in all. And Jesus took the loaves, and when he had given thanks, he distributed them to those who were seated, so also the fish as much as they wanted. When they were satisfied, he told his disciples, gather up the fragments left over so that nothing may be lost. So they gathered them up, and from the fragments of the five barley loaves left by those who had eaten, they filled 12 baskets. When the people saw the sign that he had done, they began to say, this is indeed the prophet who is to come into the world. When Jesus realized that they were about to come and take him by force to make him king, he withdrew again to the mountain by himself. And this is the gospel of the Lord. Some time ago, one of the United States papers carried the article entitled, Paul Finds a Nation That Hates Waiting for Anything. And we understand that because we also hate waiting, whether it is at the market or at the bank or at a traffic light. We are an impatient people and we want things to happen fast. The LAP internet is not fast enough so we have broadband. We need the ready cooked meals because the other meals take a long time to, to, to do and we just pop them into the, in the microwave oven for a minute or two. And if we were to read today's gospel and apply the same mentality, we easily could refer to it as the story of fast food. And we all know that that's not the case. People with this mentality will only be concerned with the fact that Jesus provided enough food for some 5,000 people. And many people stop at that. They just see the miracle that Jesus performed, the multiplication of the bread. But let us ask ourselves a question. What was the miracle meant to convey? And was it a sign of something deeper than the multiplication of bread itself? Jesus multiplied the bread and he provided enough food for all those who were present. But now he needed the human effort. He needed the human cooperation. Otherwise, all that bread wouldn't have reached the hungry people. And Jesus took care of it himself. He made sure that his disciples handed the bread around. It was not only about multiplication, but also about the vision, the dividing up of the bread. Jesus made food available for all those who were present, but he needed people 
to help him share that food around. And this makes us think about the reality in our world. God put so many resources in the world that it can provide food for everyone and much more than that. Many a time we take this continuous miracle for granted. And so we don't real realize that there are people who are going hungry every day. As we said, the problem is not a, about the multiplication, but about the division. We do not know, or we refuse, to divide up what riches and what food we have. <clears throat> and because of that, people keep dying hungry every day. The Eucharist is the sign of God's goodness. In the Eucharist we receive Jesus himself with his body, his blood, his soul, and his divinity. And according to St. Augustine, we are supposed to be transformed in what we receive. And if we let this happen, we will become Christ-like. And this would be motivation enough to go out and share whatever food we have and what, whatever riches we have, no matter how little of it we have with, with others who do not have as much as we do. As we said, it's all about the vision. Perhaps what keeps us from dividing up the riches that we have and the gifts that God has provided us with is the fact that we, always, we are always in too much a hurry. We do not have time, we do not have the patience to figure out how we should go about distributing the food and the riches that we have. One thing is certain, meals should not be fast because it takes time to appreciate something that is nourishing. And it's the same with the Eucharist, with the Mass. What's the big hurry about getting out of the Sunday Mass under an hour? With the Eucharist, we need some time to figure out whom we are receiving and in whom we are being transformed. And now let us stand and offer our prayers to God our Father. In the Gospel, Jesus demonstrates his deep practical concern for people by working a miracle and so gives us courage now to place our needs before him. That the Lord may keep us and Christians everywhere vividly aware of our dignity and the worth of all we do in his name, we pray to the Lord. Lord. That the rich nations of the world may never forget their obligation to share with the poor and the hungry, we pray to the Lord. Lord. That the Lord may bless all children and those who care for them. May he keep the little ones safe and lead them to know and love him, we pray to the Lord. Lord. That those who are sick and those who suffer may find comfort in the Lord's deep concern for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord. Help us, Lord our God, never to lose sight of your gracious goodness, but always to be truly grateful, and we make our prayer through Christ our Lord. 